Hey YouTube, it's Maisha Marie and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I will be braiding my sister's hair. She's getting feed in braids going up into a ponytail. And this is not really a tutorial. I'm just going to show you how I braid her hair. All right, so for this type of hairstyle, I start by parting off a small circle in the middle or wherever you want the braids to meet. The purpose of making this circle is just to make sure the braids don't get crowded into one spot. And you don't want the tension from the braids to cause breakage in that area. All right, so right here you can see I'm going to go ahead and divide her hair into four sections. And this is just um, something that I do to make it easier for me to see how much hair I have for each section. And it also helps you to see how many braids you have to do for each section as well. Now my sister, she's very particular about how she wants her hair. So I just wanted to make sure I had the same amount of braids on the top left side as the top right. And then I wanted to make sure there was the same amount of braids on the back left section and the back right section. She also wants them small and she wanted them to be long. Now you can buy hair already long, but she didn't buy long hair. So you'll see later in the video where I had to feed in the hair at the end of the braids to make them a little bit longer. Okay, so right here, I'm going to take edge control and I put it on her scalp. And what this does is just cleans up the part a lot better. Um, especially with naturals, they have a lot of shorter hairs or flyaways. And the edge control just helps um, mow those flyaways down. Right, right here, it probably looked like I'm snatching or braiding her edges back. But um, I asked her if she wanted any hair left out in the front. And she said, no, don't leave nothing out, nothing at all. So that's why it looks like I went to the very tip of her hairline to start braiding. Another thing I need to mention, she wanted her ponytail to be thin at the part where you would put the rubber band. Well, not really thin. She just didn't want it to be really, really bulky. So what I did was after I made the braid, once you start plaiting about two to three inches down, then that's when you really want to start adding in the hair, especially if they want long braids. Um, that's what's going to cause the braid to be more heavy toward the tips of the, the braids versus having all that hair right there toward the middle where the rubber band will meet. I hope that made sense.
I told y'all she very particular about how she want her hair. Now I done already started braiding on her hair, but she still showing me pictures of how she want it.
All right, so as y'all can see, sis really needed a lineup. So I took my Andy's liners and I went ahead and gave her a lineup. Now, if you ever have to do this, the easiest way is to just look at the hairline where it starts right above the ear and follow that hairline down. And that should help. All right, so when I'm done braiding, I always put mousse on it. It just helps to set the braids. And this is her final look. She really liked her braids, and I'm glad she liked them because it's so hard to please her. But anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.